Welcome, squad, to another episode of Uppercuts. I'm here with Emily to discuss the latest things in gaming and fashion. Ooh, and I'm excited, too. In this episode, we're going to evaluate Cloud9's latest collection with Puma. Let's take a look at the commercial. I woke up to the color in the skies, lit up my room, lit up my life. Oh, hey, what a day, what a day to be alive. Sky's the limit, so they say I'm the seer truth. I'll stake my claim. Oh, hey, what a day, what a day to be alive. Gonna run this race, gotta keep this pace till I reach the finish line. There you have it. So that was our first look at the line. But before we start sharing our opinions, we want to call in our friend Drew and have him join the conversation. What's up? What's up, baby? Yeah. Did you like that commercial? You know what? It was it was like a cool, corny commercial. Like it, <laughs> it was, was very yeah. like it was very it was very fun. And it was true to themselves. Like I kinda like it. It was supposed to be fun. So yeah. it was cool. It was very, very homely, cool. very relatable, just a bunch of kids playing around. I really like how they're selling uh, this, I guess, line of clothes. Um, like, did you uh, like it? Unlike oh. the last commercial. Uh -huh. Like, unlike the last commercial last week. Like, from this our last one, episode. This, it's a little too try From hard. our last episode. This, this commercial actually showed the clothing. Like, you saw them in their clothing. Okay. It was featured. Like, yeah. that was the biggest part about this thing. Just shout outs, he's referring to our last episode of Uppercuts where we talked about 100 Thieves' latest line, the numbers one, which Drew did not like. So why don't we pull up the items and yeah. take a look at the stuff. Um, first up, Drew, was there something that you liked from this line in particular? That, that windbreaker is actually one of the best looking windbreakers on the market. If, if you didn't even know what Cloud9 was, you would still wear that just because it's a really good throwback to 90s like Anorak windbreakers. So it's, it's really fantastic. Definitely. I see that a lot nowadays. A lot of people yeah. pulling back the 90s style. So this is kind of similar. Also kind of similar like the, the knee high socks that we saw. As well. I'm really, Emily while watching the commercial, she's like, uh, that's stupid. She I was not a fan. Why? It just looks like those free socks you get at Christmas time, like in the Razor <laughs> fun packs. You know, not yeah, fun packs, but you know what I mean? Like the assorted things, they just look like you get a freebie. I wasn't a fan, wasn't a fan. I get it, but it seems like the vibe that they're selling, it's very like Napoleon Dynamite with the gym shorts too. You can yeah. see the gym shorts. It's that school, right. very like varsity style items, right? Um, in terms of this line though, is there something you didn't like? Uh, Drew, first. Well, I mean, the socks are probably the worst item on the market there, just because they're not really, they're just gym socks. Like, why would, like, why would I wear that? And I understand that, like, Puma is an athletic company, mm -hmm. so yeah. these are all athletic, like, types of right. stuff, but the, the rest of the line is fantastic. Like, you can see a lot of the personality of the company in there, the branding fantastically subtle in there. It's, it's great. Other than that, the socks suck. You could have just made blue socks. Like, that would have been fantastic. Like, this, this the socks really fucking suck. Okay. <laughs> the socks suck. Okay, okay. okay. What, you, what didn't you like? Um, I mean, I didn't, I, I feel like socks is like a write off, right? The socks and the hat is kind of a write off. I didn't really think of that seriously. I think the t shirts, I was kind of torn. Actually, I didn't know how I felt about the t shirts. Like, I get the cloud, the, the fady cloud inside the nine, but I'm like, it's kind of all right. I didn't, it was it's like not, meh. Yeah, it's not amazing. I don't know, Drew, do you disagree or agree? Uh, I mean, I'm impartial to it. Yeah. At least they tried <laughs> to incorporate their personal branding into it, well, and they did a fantastic you. job. Unfortunately, they tried to do something really non-risky. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see that there's not, it's not really risk. It's just like a throwback to, like, old-style streetwear looks, but exactly. they chose, like, the wrong styling for what their cloud usage is. Other than that, like, it's it's... Look, this is not the biggest offender, <laughs> like, that's for sure. That's true. I think if I were to buy anything from this line, the leggings and the cropped like hoodie, yeah. I'm feeling that. I would, I like that. But the only criticism I would throw is that like you said, it's kind of, you know, safe. Um, I feel like this is very similar to like what Adidas has been releasing as well with this, like the band, the Cloud9 band. I've seen Adidas do the exact same thing. Yeah. So yeah. I wouldn't say it's completely unique, but for an esports brand, an uh, esports line, works. I like how they marketed it. I'm vibing it. So I guess to summarize, I gotta ask everyone, Drew, first, drip or drop this line? What are you feeling? 
Uh, I would drip it. It's crazy good. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah. He, he's it's like the harshest hard. critic too. So I'm I'm liking yeah. that you're you're feeling this. Emily, drip or drop? I don't feel like I'm cool enough to say this, but drip. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. like the, the head. Drip. Drip. Yeah. Uh, I you know what? I'm feeling it too. I definitely give it a passing grade. I'm feeling this line. Um, so Claude Nine and Puma doing good stuff. Uh, shout out to them. But you know what? There has been other things going on in the fashion world that we want to shine some light on. So we're going to do a speed round of drip and drop. I'm going to show you guys items and you guys tell me whether you would drip or drop. You ready? Let's pull up the first item here. So this is the hoodie with Nate Hill. He's the Fortnite player. It's yeah. collab with, uh, I think, On the Other Worlds. I think that's the name of it. So apparently, I just want to give you guys a little description. It's, it was inspired by childlike imagination and creativity. And Nate Hill actually did the sketches and doodles that you see on the hoodie. So it's all, it's all out of cotton. So it's full cotton and there's a little pocket. So you guys, Emily first, drip or drop? You feeling this one? Drip. <laughs> you don't have to do the head motion every time, Emily. You know, she doesn't have to do that. So you feeling it? I feel it. You feeling yeah. it? You'd cop it. All right, uh, Drew. I'll cop it. Drip. Really? Why? Give us some thoughts. Uh, well, it has Murakami inspiration to it, and that's one of my favorite artists. On top of that, it it doesn't look like your like boring esport hoodie. Yeah. It actually looks like something interesting that you could wear. And I like that he didn't just choose like black or gray, like he chose a, a palette that really meant something to himself. Mm -hmm. So that's a good stuff. I agree. I actually really like the color, so I would totally drip. This is a, this is definitely a cop it. Uh, move on to the next item. We got the shoes from Pusha T and Adidas. They released the second Call of Duty Modern Warfare shoe. Of course, the Oswego, drip or drop. Emily. Drop, they're so boring. <gasps> oh, that doesn't scream Call of Duty to me at all. Okay, what, you want guns coming out of it? What do you yeah, <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Drew, drip I or drop. Actually, it does scream uh, Call of Duty to me, like, because you're a normie if you wear those <laughs> shoes, so terrible. So that's a drop for sure. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm going to kind of agree. I'm going to agree. It was kind of basic. The colors are nice, but it's kind of basic. Um, so drop from all three of us. Let's move on to our last item. We're throwing in a Rocket League skin. So this is the first skin of the year. It's called the Komodo. You guys, Emily. Drip or drop? Are you even a Rocket League fan? You feeling this? Not really, but drip just because of the name. <laughs> like, that's cool. So, cool, Brandy, Drew, what do you feel? I mean, that's a drip because it reminds me of my old Hot Wheel cars that I used to paint. <laughs> yes. And uh, that's fantastic, so. I would say drop. I'm not feeling it. It doesn't remind me of a Komodo at all. But, so that's a mixed bag. That's our drip or drop, you guys. Drew, thank you so much for stopping in and giving us your insight. No problem, thank you. <laughs> fantastic, all right, that's a wrap. Uh, how do you feel about this episode? You like some items from there? I liked it. Yeah, I want that sweater. <laughs> I want that sweater so bad. You want the, the pink, the, the coral one? Yeah. You're talking about the coral one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that one too. I want to see a bigger line from him, mm. actually. Uh, though, part of my head was like, it kind of looked like it was made in like clip art paint because of like the little light bulb symbols. Whoa. But you know what? <laughs> it's a vibe. It's a vibe that we totally feel in. Uh, with some interesting things coming out. But of course, Cloud9. Good job on them with their line. Uh, but that's a wrap on Uppercuts. Thank you so much again for Drew for joining us. And of course, you guys watching, be sure to let us know what you want us to talk about in the next episode through our socials. See ya.